Hi guys, hope you're all having a great day. This is a pencil sketch of some summer fruits that uh, were growing in my back garden. I drew this in Procreate using the Hessian brush. So let's have a look how I got on with that. So here we are in Procreate and I begin with the sketch. Now the Hessian brush, which can be found in the organic category of brushes, if you want to have a go with this brush, is um, it's it's like I guess the idea is it's supposed to simulate uh, the fabric Hessian, but in actual fact, to me, it looks like uh, a lot of cro cross hatching lines. So if you make the pencil really small, you can get a fine line or as close to a fine line as a, re a regular pencil with a bit of a furry edge. And the bigger you make the, br the brush, you get sort of very fine hatching or really loose open hatching, but lines of varying thickness. So you've got to be a little bit careful with it. So I thought this would be a great brush to try to um, do a drawing with lots of hatching where I could get the hatching done really, really quick with just a few strokes. So I was sort of, I've sort of worked through most of my um, photos that I've taken when I've been away recently. So I was sort of wondering what I was going to draw. So I'd wander around the garden, took this picture of these summer fruits, and I thought they'd make a great subject. So the first thing I did with this um, picture was change the background to this sort of blue green. So I don't mean that I coloured the layer that I'm drawing on, I colored the actual background, I changed that to a, a blue. And then I just started roughing in a pencil outline almost of where I wanted these fruits to go. Then I started selecting colors and you can see I was hatching in the berries just to get an idea of uh, the colors I wanted to use. And you can see there that very quickly you can get a, uh, really dense hatched shape just by um, drawing on the surface and you get sort of a dozen lines drawn with every stroke you put down so that was really cool and then I could sort of put these highlights on as well and the smaller you make it the finer those lines but you've got to be a bit careful because if you do it too much it it doesn't look uh, real it looks quite false so there's sort of a limit you can go with the fine lines before you um, run into trouble. And then the other thing I did, I did a lot of actual etching myself, drawing over it uh, by etching, um, just by making the pencil, uh, whacked it down to minimum size, so it was like just a, a single line of pencil. And then I started doing some of my own etching. But look how quick there, I've patched up that um, area where I resized those leaves. You can also sort of put big blocks of etching in and then use your razor to lift out uh, shapes or cut shapes out, I should say. So once I got into the technique, I really liked it. I found it really useful and it looks like you've done this really complex drawing where you've sat for hours and hours hatching away. And in actual fact, you haven't. You've, you've just sort of done this um, really, really quick I guess the old drawing took me maybe an hour and a half or something like that. Not massively long time for this one. Uh, but it looks as though I've spent a lot longer on it because of all the etching. So as I say, this is the Hessian brush and you can find it in the organic category if you want to give it a go. I really love the way that um, I could make the the lines really fine you can you can use it to sort of block in lots of color but uh and and leave sort of just little gaps in between the lines but then go over it with a another slightly different color where the brush is a little bit bigger and by doing that you get a more of a sort of an evenness of uh line so here you can see i'm matching uh manually now i'm sort of drawing those berry shapes uh those sort of circles on the berries drawing them in manually and then hatching them by hand so there was a combination of some sort of real hatching going off as well as this sort of um 
mechanical latching that the brush creates as well. So there you can see I'm putting in leaves and then um, cutting them away. So these are on a different layer. I'd once I'd um, got in sort of the basic shapes. I, st I created a new layer so I could move things around if I if I wanted or just resize them slightly. Uh, that worked quite well with this. And I also like the way that um, when I drew the berries on top of the initial etching lines that I put in, you can see some of the etching behind the actual berry. For example, that um, dark blue berry at the top, you can still see some of the bluer lines underneath it. There I went in and just resized those berries, just make them a little bit bigger. So that's the benefits of working on a different layer. I didn't use any multiply layers or anything. I just wanted to, uh, because it's a pencil, so you wouldn't, it, with a pencil, you, they are opaque, really, and you don't see the um, colours underneath, other than the gaps between the pencil lines. So this was all drawn on a normal layer. Just sort of putting in indications of, of berries and leaves in the in the background. I didn't want to get bogged down with too much detail on the leaves. I just wanted the detail in the berries. Really, that's more about me being really impatient and not wanting to spend too much time on the drawing. So I could have, have you know, gone a bit more over the top with the leaves if I'd have wanted, but it was really a case of... Um, just drawing the berries and getting a few leaves in but not many and then just letting the etch lines uh, cr uh, create an impression of something there that you can fill in with your own imagination really i think that the bit that i like most about doing this well it is, uh, this absolutely uh, was the best bit that i enjoyed doing was putting the highlights on the berries i love sort of um getting a lighter color and just putting those marks to me once i did that that just totally lifted the whole thing and I, i'm also liking where we've got these berries that are sort of green and uh, just go almost pink going to the darker colors going to red and then going to the blue so i've got the the greens and the reds merging together and mingling together i really like that i felt uh, that was a really nice um color combination and it was working really well here uh for some reason um my recording um went completely wrong so i've just used the default procreate recording of the video here so that you don't miss anything and it's just a matter of choosing the right color and, and all these were just picked off the color wheel i didn't sample the photograph or use a color palette or anything like that i was just sort of eyeballing the colors and picking them off the color wheel and then uh, drawing them on and gradually building up those the shapes and the textures and the form uh, there's a good example of sort of putting in a color and then using the eraser to sculpt it away for that leaf there we are we're just sculpting that away i resized it as well back to the berries so a lot of sort of manual latching and and drawing for these shapes but using that um auto hatch if you like for the highlights went in with some thicker lines so you can see if you make the brush really big you get really thick lines so um i used the thicker lines over the top to sort of diffuse almost like a multiplier layer if you like to add a shadow and knock the sharp colors and the fine etching underneath it back a bit so it didn't so it all sort of looked part of the same drawing and i've got these areas where i've got this really fine work so there we go that's it that is my uh summer fruits drawing using the essian brush in procreate i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always much appreciated and if you're, if you're new to the channel 
please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.